Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 6th May. For several months now, retail is refusing to pump in new money into the markets. So it seems that the regulator has decided to take it in their hands. Every week they seem to be picking up one stock or one sector and disciplining them in the process bringing down the stocks of that sector down by 8 to 10 percent if not more. This week it is a turn of infrastructure financing companies, majorly PSU banks. There was a major panic in the morning when the announcement came that there will be additional provisioning requirements of 5% for infrastructure projects. Large heavyweights like REC were down more than 10% in the initial trades. Most of the public sector banks took a beating today. In fact, Money Control came up with this very interesting data in very quick time. Impact is somewhere between about 5 to 20 basis points. Let me translate this a bit. If someone needs 100 rupees from REC, REC will need to raise 105 rupees keep 5 rupees as provision. This 5 rupee requirement will become 2.5 rupees once the project is commissioned and will become zero when the project can finance itself. On an average over the life cycle of the project, this will turn out to be somewhere between 15-20 basis points on reducing loan and reducing percentage basis. That too will be 100% passed on to the company taking the loan. So there will be no material impact on the financing companies. The main problem for now is that this announcement seems to be in retrospective. What that means is if projects are already underway, they also need to carry a provision of 5%. That will be an additional hit for now temporarily for all the financing companies and PSU banks. Nifty and Bank Nifty were just down 0.07% negligible. That is not the complete story. Markets today also were in a very tight range of about 100 points. Nifty was held together today by IT and banks mostly. Otherwise, there were big cracks throughout the index. ITC down 2.7%, SBI down 2.7%. The Solace was in Nifty IT up 1%, TCS up smartly 2%. TCS has recovered a lot from its lows which it made around its results time. There has been a steady recovery. Nifty VIX has gone up 40% in last 5 days. On small numbers, 40% does not mean much. However, this is likely to continue going up. For traders, if you have long positions, this may be a nightmare. You will see that in my positions. So be very careful with long positions, especially leveraged ones. FIDI data is still not out but one thing I want to highlight is there are about 1 crore plus customers whose mutual funds are not active right now because of revised KYC norms. People need to do that online or visit their mutual fund companies and do it quickly. This is impacting the domestic flows significantly. This is what I mentioned in the Friday update also. But the amount available to DIAs is significantly reduced this month. This is what FIs took advantage on Friday also. Today also I feel FIs would have done a lot of selling because they know DIA's purse are empty this month. This may actually be a blessing in disguise for the domestic players because the money is not actually coming in in these volatile markets right now. Gold I have been maintaining it will go up towards 75,000. It is inching towards 72k now. Rent has been hovering around 84 for some time now. Bitcoin is back above 65,000. Stock specific action on Friday I mentioned Titan stock profit was up 7%. Today the stock was down 7%. Kotak I had mentioned will have good results. It recovered 5% today after the fantastic results declared on Saturday. Indian Bank is on the list of banks I track. Net profit of 55%. NP has also improved significantly. RC's graph is on the right side. Touched a low of 481 today and then recovered to 516. This was after RBI published the draft paper around the additional 5% requirement. REC's entire money is spent in infrastructure projects. So this impacts REC as well as PFC significantly. However, like I mentioned earlier, the material impact on the balance sheet will be nil because the additional cost of financing will be passed on to the borrower. It will not be absorbed by the financing company. US markets had a fantastic rally on Friday. S&P up one and a quarter percent. Nasdaq up 2% aided by Apple's 6% rally. Market likes the results of Apple. However, over the weekend, Berkshire Hathaway had their annual event where it was found that Berkshire has offloaded 13% of their stake in Apple. The Apple stake is now approximately 40% of Berkshire Hathaway's net worth. Still significant and Warren did say that Apple will continue to be the largest holding perhaps for the times to come. Still warning signs for Apple. My gut feel is today Apple will go through a correction because now investors would come to know that Berkshire Hathaway among the largest shareholders of Apple has dumped 13% of the stock in Q1. Stock highlight of the day from US markets, JP Morgan Chase. US markets typically have one bank dominate for a decade. Last decade it was Goldman Sachs. This decade belongs to JP Morgan Chase. It is 5% away from its lifetime high of $200. Besides JPMC, most of the top stocks in US have done pretty well on Thursday as well as Friday. Today's pre-opening numbers are also looking very much into greens. So US markets should do well. 
the comical part is april jobs data was bad markets like bad job data because it increases the chances of a rate cut very soon markets are eagerly awaiting that event where the rates will finally come down if the data for may looks bad in june there are high chances that in july the interest rates might have a 25 basis points cut let's look at the sector snapshot software and it 1.25 percent up mostly led by tcs let's check banking HDFC and ICI didn't go anywhere, very little upside. Our SBI was down 3%, PFC was down 9%, IRFC was down as well. The sector was down half a percent, probably because Kotak was up 5%. Otherwise, this was a 1% plus cut today. Let's check electrical utilities. Mostly the entire sector, NTPC, Power Grid, Adani Green, everything was down between 1% to 3%. Titan today perhaps had the worst day of the year, 7% down taking the entire sector down with it. Consumption is softening. The numbers are still green, which means the overall growth is positive. However, the percentage growth quarter on quarter and year on year, that's slowing down. The higher PEs will correct now. This is what I've been saying in my updates also. You will see that the growth is still there, but the rate is coming down. As a result, the PEs will come down crashing to become more realistic over the time. This will now get result specific and stock specific. Most companies that reflect softer numbers, they will go through severe beating and correction in the PEs leading to severe price corrections. For example, if you see Titan is midway between their 52 week high and low, Page Industries among the largest players in this space again is nearing the 52 week low now. Let's check transport infrastructure. The entire sector was bleeding. This is what I was saying. The index does not reflect the true story today. There were huge cracks at stock specific levels. Tata Technologies was down another 4% after the bad results. That's integrated hardware and software. Only one stock there. Let's sort on weighted performance ones. Diversified industrial. Adani Enterprises down 4%. That's among the biggest stocks in the index. Let's check coal ones. Coal is down 3%. GMDC down 4.5%. So bad day for the market overall. Let's check Nifty 50 now. This is a new interface I have added. This illustrates the distance from 52 week low and high very clearly. So if you see 12 stocks are near their 52 week high. Another 12 are in the 80% to 100% zone. 6 are in 70% to 100% zone. So majority of the stocks are here. What is down a lot? Hindustan Unilever, Kotak, Asian Paints, LTI Mindry, HDFC Life. These stocks are in the 20% zone, very close to their 52 week low. I'll be adding this interface to the other indices also. Let's go visit Bank Nifty. PNB down 6.5%, Bank of Baroda 3.5%, SBI 3%. The entire public sector index was cracking today. That's because of the announcement from RBI. HDFC and ICIC were up a little. Kotak Mahindra up 5%. Nifty next 50. LIC down. Adani Green down. IOC down. HAL down. PNB down. Today also Nifty next 50 seems to be bleeding. No respite. IT index was up. Most of the heavyweights are up a lot. My holding LTTS was down another 1.5%. How is my portfolio looking? Not pretty at all. I closed the trade in ABB today around 7,015. The stock closed around 75 rupees less than that. I bought a little more Union Bank, 1,000 more. And I bought Indian Bank just before the results. I'm again over the trading limit that I've set for myself. So if DIs find some money tomorrow and do some buying, then hopefully I'll be able to sell some positions tomorrow. Overall, volatility will continue. One problem in the Indian market right now in the last one year, not too much of large size quality paper has hit the market. Tata Technologies is among the larger ones perhaps. So as a result, whatever new money has been added to the markets, via especially the domestic route, new money has been taking the markets up on the same stocks mostly. So think of it like A is selling to B, B is selling to C, C is selling to D, D is again selling to A. Everyone is making money. The party is essentially around the same stocks. The stock price has been going up, but really speaking, all getting frothy and overvalued. If new money keeps coming into the market, then new paper should ideally be hitting the markets. Yes, there are a lot of IPOs coming in this week also. However, those those are not very large size issues. They are not soaking the entire supply coming in from the domestic side. Not too many companies are diluting equity also at this stage, though the market levels are mouth watering. So retail needs to really be careful about their strategy, especially with their SIPs. They are chasing the same stock, same quantity available in the market mostly, driving the prices up. Via mutual funds, they are just selling to each other on a daily basis and thinking that value is being created. No, it is not value. It is just froth. Thanks for watching. 
होपफुली टुमारो विल बी अ बेटर डे आई एल सी यू टुमारो